Jaka Jan Jan Jaka Jan Jaka Jan and welcome to devlog number 23 and hot damn this episode is going to be an absolute mess remember last time when i said i've been busier than i would like after getting back from japan yeah, well, I'm still quite busy, and so busy in fact, I'm going to be doing this largely off the cuff. So, get ready for an absolute drop in production value. And for a little peek behind the curtains, yeah, I write out usually every word. Sometimes I change things if, if I'm reading them out loud and it just doesn't feel right. But unfortunately, the truth is none of my jokes are fresh. They're all frozen. Please do not tell Gordon Ramsay. Have I been keeping up with game development? Well, not as much as I would prefer honestly which is you know i'm so busy i'm not even writing a, a video script well that tells you how stuffed my schedule has been lately so what's in development well it's kind of like a wedding where the bride is supposed to have something new and also something old i'm returning to a game honestly from a few years ago back in my unity days those halcyon days of my youth that's right i'm not working on sick transit nor diva sutra and i like those games but honestly i look at them and they're a little too they're a little too self-serving like they're games for me and now, with some perspective, I'd like to make a game that a lot of people will enjoy. So I'm gonna boot up Unity real fast before I uninstall it forever because of some recent business decisions they've made. And hopefully I can take a look around the old project. So I was developing this back in 2020 and I think I can say that was a kind of rough time for a lot of people, myself including. And I think the reason why I abandoned this overall is Unity just did not have built in AI, good AI tools. And I, you know, this game, I wanted it kind of like a more approachable Hitman. And if we take a look at this massive HTN class, Unity was obviously not playing ball. And just in general, I definitely bit off way more than I could chew with this project at the time. It was super overscoped, but I think that now's the time and I'm gonna give it a good old college try. I'm taking it slow and I'm trying to be thorough and I've even written out a GDD, which I usually do not do. I'm trying out that old measure twice, cut once adage, finally. So I'm gonna spend a lot of time programming, laying down the foundations, make sure things are nice and having unattractive placeholder programmer art. And it's gonna look bad, it's gonna look real bad and I don't know how long it's gonna look bad and I really doubt I'll be able to make good YouTube videos during that time. It's true with food and it's true with game dev as well. You eat with your eyes. I'm gonna try to keep things entertaining but there are only so many bochi green screens and dank memes I can slip in but I have an idea of something I could do and next video it should make its debut. And speaking of next video I'm going to update my release schedule right here right now. I've largely stuck to the new video every two weeks which is whew, that was a quick pace especially during the math video series and I don't think I can keep it up and also take game dev more seriously so the new schedule is new video every last Friday of the month except since I'm springing this on you just now I will of course release a new video in two weeks and then we'll be switching to that new schedule anyways that's it for this video thank you for watching I appreciate your time and I hope you have a good day if you like the video please give it a like and if you want to follow along with the next video, which is going to be the Japanese bread review, 100%. I guarantee. Then please subscribe and please leave comments on the videos. I really appreciate them and I try my best to respond to all of them. There's also a Discord where you can swing by, talk about math, talk about bread, talk about whatever you want. Just keep it clean. I also have a Twitter account that I just have not used in months. But now that I'm coming back my release schedule, hopefully I'll have more time to ship post on Twitter and more importantly, Importantly, post pictures of baked goods. And speaking of baking, let's get to it. Okay, well, chocolate chip cookies, and these are not the Levon style. As you could pretty obviously tell, they're not dummy thick. However, this is the Tara O'Brady recipe, which I used for the white chocolate guava cookies. Oh, however long ago I posted that. But there, it's still, you know, it's a quick recipe. It's great. It's simple. It comes out delicious. And, you know, you can modify it really easily. So the base recipe calls for, I think, chocolate chips and maybe walnuts. But, you know, as I said, I used guava and white chocolate. It, it comes out great and it's super simple super adaptable you can just mix in whatever you want again i think this one um you can mix it all up together in like an hour like tops i i'm usually done in about like half an hour because I'm, I'm practice you know i just i got the scale i just dump everything in a single bowl i'm like boom easy done 
But here's the thing. Yeah, they're super easy, but they're also delicious. So if we just skip ahead to the next picture here, yeah, this is the uh, cross section. And yeah, you can tell they're not dummy thick like the Levon cookies, but they also don't take two days like the Levon cookies. And I don't have to break out an ice cream scooper. I can just boop, 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 easy done. And still, they're still super gooey in the middle, which is how I like my chocolate chip cookies. If you like a, I'm sorry, if you like like a brittle chocolate chip cookies, I like a chewy cookie and not like a crisp cookie. You know, crisp cookies are okay, but if it's chalky chip, if it's chalky chip, it better be chewy chalky chip. Oh God, I'm a mess. But as you can see, one of the advantages of having a chewy cookie is that it stays you know, it's it's still good after like a, f a couple days. Like it's still chewy. It still has that same essence. And you know, you could pop it back in the microwave, get it nice and warm, have it a la mode. Oh, oh, it's good. Whereas like a crisp cookie, you know, after a couple days, those things are just, oh, they're like those Nature Valley bars, granola bars, you know, the ones that will just break your jaw or they're like super, they're super crumbly. They don't have the same essence. They don't last as well. And so yeah, Taro Brady chocolate chip cookies. I love them. Great recipe. Amazing recipe. Super simple, super straightforward. Works every time. Good. So after that basically wholehearted endorsement of Taro Brady's amazing chocolate chip recipe i'm gonna sign off yeah this is this is a short episode i'm really i'm winging this entire thing in case you didn't notice but despite the short runtime i'm still gonna use the classic sign off the yeast in the air is free go out there and bake it's great it's good for you it's delicious and it makes a great personal gift that you can share with people you love and appreciate and i appreciate all of you and i'll see all of you next time